the logging function, which I think is probably the most important custom function that I have running right now inside Sweet CRM. And I highly recommend that you do not write any code without using this function because it's going to make your life a lot easier. And so I'll give you a live example of uh, where it's used. So for example, right now I'm inside the logic hook and there's stuff happening on the uh, inside the logic hook and I want to know what is it that is happening right now. So you can use the default logging that is uh, that comes with the Sweet CRM, but as you're going through the logs, you're going to see that it's basically saturated with uh, a lot of information. So a lot of the stuff, even if you put the logging at the least verbose uh, setting, so you're seeing just the most important information and you're tagging your, um, your entries with a specific flag, it's still very saturated. I think this is a bit hard to read. So this specific function, what allows you to do, it allows you to create simple entries like this. So you can include either an array as the first parameter. Then you can include your text and you can even pass it an object here, which is going to print out the whole object that you're currently working with. So actually I'll give you an example. So when you're working inside, when you're submitting this function without an array, so it's basically an empty array here i'm going to show you here <clears throat> like so it's going to generate a very simple basic entry like so it's basically just text followed by the date when this took place and it's going to be put inside your custom uh, <coughs> custom folder so custom slash log.txt if you decide to put an array so something that contains a value you're going to get a more uh, more details so it's going to return the value of the array first the time when this took place and the full stack trace so this function was actually uh, uh, was written by me and another person that person actually works for the developers of sweet crm um, for that company sales agility and uh, that person su actually suggested adding this line so it's super useful it shows you exactly what um, file was used like in inside which file this function was executed so you get a stack trace exactly inside which file and exactly the line so you never get lost and uh, it gets written here so you can very easily print stuff so let's let's do a check here so i'm actually going to submit a bean and just to show you what it what it looks like inside this uh, inside the log itself so this function right now is inside an after save hook. So when I do save like so, and I go to my log file, I can see here that basically the whole object got printed, which can be very useful in on itself. Also, you can basically delete the whole log.txt file. It's better than deleting the, the sweet CRM.log. It's, it's lighter, it's more versatile, you can add more stuff to it, and also you have other options if we look at the function itself, like the ability to email stuff to you. So if something happens that is uh, of extreme importance and you want it to be emailed out, you can also enable this third parameter in order to get stuff mailed to you. So it's going to be basically you can specify email equals true, like so and it's actually going to email you the content of the log. So I'm going to leave inside the description the link to the blog post that contains this function. And right now it may not seem like much, but as you work more and more within Sweet CRM, you're going to see that this is extremely useful. So if you found this video at all helpful, please do leave a like and do subscribe because more of these will be made in the future. Thank you.